A new amazing image editing model just came out and I really want to test it out with you. This is Flux Context and it's completely free to use with specific limits that are applied daily. So here, for example, we can see an image and you can remove this thing from her face and you can see the face exactly as it is. You can make her take a selfie in some kind of city, add snow and do loads of things. This is absolutely an amazing image editing model. I will show you how to use it completely for free today. So the first thing is this Flux Playground. So this is the official website of Flux. They've got a chat mode. You can use the Pro or Max version as well as the Flux image generation models. You have three options, generate, edit, fill, and expand. We will test them out in just a bit. Also, you can go on open art and use your daily credits with this chat to edit feature, which I have seen that is the best option. And you can select Flux Context. It takes five credits every single response. If you also want to learn more about AI image generation, but also AI tools, I have two courses down below in the description. One is only for images, one is for AI tools in general. Choose one of the two if you like to support the channel and if you want to learn something new. So let's get started. I'm going to get started by actually asking it to generate an image. Generate a brunette girl looking directly at the camera. So first of all, we're going to see its image generation capabilities. I'm going to be using the pro version. If you go over to my account, we can see that I have some credits. So here we can see the images generated. So let's say that we want to work with this image. I'm going to download it. So let me download it on my download folder. All right, I download the image. So let's say that I want to edit it. I can select this button, go to downloads, get the image in here. Maybe I can change the model. And let's say that we want to change the color of the hair to blonde. So we're going to change the color of the hair of the girl and we're going to use context max, which should be a very better model compared to the pro version. At the end of the video, we're also going to see some benchmarks about this, you know, at the end of the video, we're going also to see some benchmarks about this tool. So here we can see that it completely changed the scenery. For some reason, it didn't give a shit about like the girl in the image. So change the color of the hair to blonde for the girl in the image. Let's try again. Let's try one more time. In all honesty, I'm super new to this tool. I'm not exactly an expert. So we're pretty much testing it together. So the generation takes a little bit more time compared to the pro model. So yeah, you have to specify, you know, that you probably want to change that's just the color of the hair for the girl, not that you want to generate another girl. So it actually worked. We can see here the result and this looks super good. So let's download this image as well. So this is the first image, this is the second. And oh my God, it's, it's so good. Like it literally changed only the hair. This is amazing. Literally, they just kill Photoshop. So let me do this edit version. So let's say that we want to go and edit this image. You can see some examples of what other people have done. So I'm going to go ahead here, place the girl with this kind of style of hair, with the blonde hair. And I want to say, let's see, cigarette or maybe add glasses to the girl. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's test it out. Let's add some glasses to this girl. So I really want to see if it can actually add glasses in high quality. That would be interesting. So yeah, it actually did. Okay, so we can see that the glasses are here. It feels like the lighting is a little strange, but you know, I think it's fine. So let's test something else. Let's go to fill and we can actually remove things. So let's say that we want to remove maybe this area over here and maybe this area as well. Can I select both areas? Maybe if I click shift, nah, okay. So let's say that we want to remove this part of the image and maybe we want to add some, add some girl in the background. I don't know, add some painting. 
add a painting in the background. Let's say that we want to add like a painting, even though it doesn't fit the context, let's just try out something crazy, something insane. So let's see this functionality of filling in the image. What else can we change? We could potentially change the color of one of the two eyes. That would be amazing. If it can actually change the color of one of the two eyes, that should be interesting. So yeah, it really didn't do the change. Okay, so let's test something else. Let's use this fill to add and remove anything from the images. Let's go here and let's say that we want to remove this eye. Remove this eye. What is, what is going to be the result? I'm really interested to see. But yeah, you don't want to use fill exactly like that. Maybe you want some kind of other image to use fill. So let's see, can it remove the eye from the girl? I'm really interested to see. Okay, so it adds a completely different eye. So yeah, maybe that was a failure. Expand your images to any size. Okay. Okay, so you can expand the image, maybe make it larger or maybe turn it like that. All right, so, oh, okay. So we can extend like the image in any way we would like. Okay, so let's go with portrait. Let's change this image to portrait. How would it look like? Okay, that's an interesting functionality because you could change your landscape images to portrait and you can upload them to Instagram or whatever. So let's test it out. And I also want to chat with the open art version. Maybe they have some kind of prompt engineering. Okay, so that's a strange response. What the fuck? Okay, this is like an Instagram story. I like this. Look at this response. This looks very nice. I like this even better. Like this looks good. Maybe the hand is a little weird, but I think this is looking nice. So let's accept this change. Let's download this image and we're going to go with edit. Okay, so we're going to edit this image. I'll put the girl in a red bikini and, and beach in Greece. So let's see if it can actually take this girl and, you know, put her on summer vacation with bikini in the beach. The question is, will it do it? Can it do it? If it can do it, you have to understand that this potential model could be used for OnlyFans. And yeah, it actually can. Okay, this is completely, this is OnlyFans material right there. You could use this to create your own AI girl. Okay, yeah, this is OnlyFans. This is pretty much, this is the model that everybody for OnlyFans will use. So you can achieve a consistency super easily. Let's try to make a sexy pose. Maybe this will be blocked by the model. Maybe it's not blocked. I really want to see if it's going to bring a generation. I will probably have to blur out everything. Okay, so it didn't block anything. There is no, and no nudity, which is good. But yeah, the model works quite well. It does a little bit of mistakes. Here you can see a small smile, for example. But it's a very good model, very realistic. So yeah, okay, you know what, good. Add snow to the image. So let's add some snow to the image. This is a very big improvement in AI models. This is severely unexpected. This is a major leap. Like it's better than GPT and Gemini editing. Look at the snow, oh my God. Okay, so yeah, that looks, okay, no edit here. This is interesting, okay. This is, an, this is a very good model. So I want to check the open art version. So let's say that we upload this image here and let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so we uploaded this image. Uh, we can upscale the image here. Maybe don't do that. Make the girl pose on a bed with uh, underwear. Let's see if open art allows this kind of things. Why are you asking me these things in the comments? Okay, this is not exactly like a bed. So let's do it. Oh, what is this icon? <laughs> okay, so I really want to see if you can use this for OnlyFans girls, which is not OnlyFans, it's like on, I, on other platforms with underwear, with red underwear. So let's try this out. So yeah, a lot of people will ask me why. Well, I really know there is a big product market fit out there with these kind of models. So I'm really trying to see if this is an opportunity for me to create my own AI girl. Maybe maybe we can do this together, mates. But yeah, I mean, I'm just doing the simplest edits I can do right now, but this will be interesting if open art actually allows that. But yeah, I think you no longer need LoRa's for these kind of things because you could generate using just in-context learning. So this aspect of fine-tuning, retrieval augmentation, 
pretty much dies with this kind of models. And having editing of images and in painting completely kills the need for graphic designers or whatever. So that should be interesting. So let me do another edit here. I'm just going to stop with these girly things. I'm just going to put one of my thumbnails. So for example, let's say that we want to put this icon, okay? So let's say that I want to change this. Change the text, earn dollars to I am done. Okay, so I really want to see if it can actually edit text. So I use the edit functionality in this case, and I want to see if it can actually edit my thumbnails. If it can edit my thumbnails, I could just tell it, oh my God, this is, whoa. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Change the guy in the image with Elon Musk. Oh my God, guys, this is, this is revolutionary. Oh my God, I don't have any more credits. Okay, so maybe, I don't know. Did it generate that? No. Okay, so maybe we can try, you know, maybe we can try in open art to do this kind of edit, but I'm quite shocked about the quality. Guys, it's, it's really a very smart model. It actually changed the text, put in the correct font and color and didn't reduce the quality of my face. Like you can see here, the quality is still is super high. Okay, so this is probably blocked. This is probably blocked. There are some guardrails. It just makes sense. I'm, I have no problem with that. That's fine. Let's clear the chat. Let's, you know, okay, let's add a new image. Let's upload the image. Let me try. Could I possibly remove myself from this image and add the girl? That would be interesting. Please wait, it says. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. How much painting do we have to put in this guy? Come on, man. Come on. I want to replace you. Replace this guy with Elon Musk. Let's see. Can it replace my face with Elon Musk? That would be interesting. Close enough. I mean, completely remove the guy and just add Elon. It's close enough. Not perfect. But let's see. Let's see. Probably they don't want to like output Elon because it could be like a trademark or just for protection issues. But I just want to give it a try. Like maybe they can. But while we wait for this generation to happen, I really want to show you the technical report because guys, this is a very big deal. They pretty much, oh my God. Okay, okay. So we're not going to be looking at Elon today, but this is close enough, like this is Elon. So they probably have blocked the model just a little bit. So this is a big deal guys, because it's good at, you know, editing. It's also good for generation. So yeah, this is a very big deal. This is a very big deal. I'm not really sure what kind of model this is. Uh, probably it's some kind of, you know, I don't know, a diffusion model with some kind of, I don't know, does it have attention? I don't know if they tell here, but they work with sequences. Okay. Adversarial diffusion model. Okay. But this is a big deal. The, the editing capabilities are insane. You can extract shirts, skirts. This is revolutionary for products. Like see here, you take this image, you can remove the skirt, you can do a close up. Oh my God, this is, this, this is insane. Flux context. Oh my God. Image to image inference latency. Oh, text to image inference latency. So these models are not very big. They're very fast. They're as fast as the previous best models and a lot faster than the competition. Oh my God. That's, that's pretty insane. This is pretty insane. Whoa. They're very good at following prompts. Very good at handling text. Very realistic. This is pretty, pretty insane. But they're the best out there by quite a lot here. Let me, let me show you. This is the important part in the benchmarks. Text editing. They, they blow every, everything everything, they blow everything. Local editing, again, they do the same thing. For styling, they're good enough. Global editing, I don't really know the difference, but still super good. Just trailing. They're pretty similar to ChatGPT, but in some cases they're a lot better. Oh my God, oh my God. A flow matching model. I really don't know what this means about the architecture. I, I still think it's a kind of diffusion model. A multiple image inputs, further scaling, reducing inference. Oh my God. Uh, this is going to be a revolution to video editing as well. Extension of this approach to include edits in the video domain. Okay, it just makes sense. Oh my God. This is, this is very shocking. These results are super shocking. Because Flux 1.0, 
zero or whatever. Their first model came out like, I don't know, like six months ago, seven months ago, eight months ago, something like that. This is the same guys that have created Stable Diffusion. They just went away from the Stable Diffusion company and created their own one because of some problems with that company. Um, this is interesting. A fused diffusion model equipped with rotary positional embeddings. Rectified flow transformer. Okay, so there are some kind of interesting things happening. Maybe this potentially could be used for text generation, maybe, who knows. But this is very, very interesting. This paper, I think, is a must read because this is an architecture that enables image generation and probably video generation and editing. Uh, this, yeah, I'll, I will have to research this, but thank you so much for watching another video. I hope you found super valuable information in this one. This is, yeah, this is a great model. This is a great model for image editing. Super fast. I'm really interested in seeing how much it costs. So flux, context, API cost, let's see. Oh, oh, it's super cheap. It's like eight cents per image. Whoa, why is it so cheap? Why is this so cheap? Guys, you could literally edit a hundred images with eight dollars or like do a hundred edits in a single image with eight dollars. What the fuck? This is very cheap, guys. You have to understand how cheap this is. You have to understand how cheap this is because the previous models, the, the Flux 1.1 Pro was the same cost with the context and it had like no... What the fuck? No, this is super cheap. This is a lot more aggressive. Whoa, I'm quite shocked. Yeah, 25 images per $1 or 12 images. Whoa, this is super aggressive pricing. This is, this is incredible, guys. Like a new, a new era of application opened up right now with this kind of tool. Image editing will never be the same. I really hope that Adobe is awake and just tries to buy this company out. Like, if you're Adobe, if you're Adobe, go buy them, go buy these guys. If you're a graphic designer, use these tools, use them. So that's it, thank you so much for watching.